I'm back in another episode <coughs> of 2K reversing Memphis Dormant and we got my boy, my old buddy called SSG Carson. So this is gonna be interesting, Matt. Welcome everybody. Game. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. With Hello. me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali Hello. LaForce joining us courtside. Boy, it's tough enough to win in this league when you're at full strength. Missing one of your stars for an extended time makes it even harder. It's tough enough to win in this league when you're at full strength. Missing a cornerstone player makes it even harder. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Jackson Jr. and Adams guard the paint together. Jr., he's out there with Ja Morant. And it's Conchar in at the three. And for Los Angeles, we've got Kawhi Leonard. And it's the captain in at the point. Guards taking center stage tonight, RJ. This league has morphed from interior base to perimeter dominated. Yeah, so we're seeing a lot more games headlined by backcourt players. Also, coaches using lots of three-guard type lineups, so it's a lot of small ball. It makes for a quicker, higher scoring style of game. And here are the Grizzlies now. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Morant, Junior up top. Outside Morant, fires for three, good. And the assist goes to Junior. Consistency from deep is going to be the biggest determining factor in Morant's ceiling. If he gets that, I think we're gonna see some MVPs in his future. Here's the captain. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Adams. Pass to Moran. Puts up a three. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. And on the offensive end, this is how Adams hurts you. You have to be aware of where he is at all times. Here's the captain, and he dunks it down. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play this like this right in your face. First team. Almost two minutes into the first here. And out of bounds, the Clippers will take it. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. It's picked off. Pass to Moran. To the paint. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Junior finds Moran. Oh, there's the alley! Here's Muhammad. And he throws it down with one hand! And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Now here is Junior. Coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Pass to Jackson. The jump hook. The Clippers grab the miss. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. And let's take this time to bring up the list of last season's elite shot-blocking teams. In third, Memphis. It was an intimidating brand of defense they played. They sent the message that if you were going to get your points in the paint, you were going to have to work for them. And here's Morant outside. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. The Clippers have gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. Leonard with a screen on Adams. And he's going for the lob. Ooh, and Leonard Ooh, throws it down. And communication the made that play. Leonard just reads oh, his teammate and knows exactly where to be for the alley-oop. 
Love City. And so Moran will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh. It's a five-point game. They defeated Utah in their last game. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. 144 left to play in the first quarter. Picking up that second foul early is tough. He'll have to be careful, and we'll see how much coach trusts him to not get that third. One forty-three left in the first quarter to the left side wing. Left side Moran, Conchar outside to snap the cold streak. <laughs> and the defense has been stifling early on. Here's the kid. Drops in the layup for two. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Now here's Moran, playing you. Hello, hello. Saw he was nearly unstoppable. All alone from mid-range. You gotta think he's kicking himself. And Richard Ja Moran, one of those guys that seems to always be working hard on his game. So much fun to watch. Yeah, he looks to improve oh. every single year and still believes he can get even better than he is now. You gotta love that type of mindset. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? There's 53 seconds left to play in the first. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. From outside the arc, Conchar can't hit. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Here's Muhammad. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Muhammad's got his second basket. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Shot and game clock separated by five. Junior passes to Tillman. Now here's Moran. Adams a screen. And again, Memphis no good. Here's the captain. And the layup is good off the glass. The captain's got ten points in the game. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. They came out swinging, really setting the tone on offense, and the opposition has not been able to respond. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. The Clippers on top. They lead by 13. We've got more in store for you right after this. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. The I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. And another thing they've done is look to shoot from the mid-range often. So far, it's really paying off for them. We've got Kawhi Leonard, and it's Taylor in at the five, down low. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Richard, since 2011, the Grizzlies have been very competitive, only missing the playoffs three times. Yeah, in three quick years, they were able to do a rebuild by creating a strong culture, drafting some incredible young talent, and allowing them to develop. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture at an NBA organization. Ooh, BA. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. Here's the captain. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Dallas. Don't forget his four steals just filling up the box score. Plays it up and banks it in. 12 points for him. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. 
Here's Williams. No good. A bit long that time. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Brian, durability is a focus for Ja Morant. He said, quote, the number one thing is being available, working on my body to get stronger and on the court, being way more consistent with my shooting so I don't have to go back to the rack, absorb all that contact, and hit the floor every single time. Brian? Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you, Allie. Here's Tillman following the score by the Clippers. Body, no good. Pass to the kid. Here's the captain. Oh, he's on fire. Eight for eight and just looking relentless. Uh, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Knocked away. And it's the Clippers on the break. And he takes that one up and powers it through. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. Steven Adams checked in for Memphis. Conchar comes in for Williams. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Okay, look out! Now! Eddie double clutches and throws it down. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Now here's Jackson. He had a big outing in that Jazz game as well. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. Here's the captain. Taylor passes to Leonard for three. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. Yeah, Kawhi has never relied on the three-pointer, but it's a part of his game that unlocks the rest of what he can do on the offensive end. Pass to Jackson. To end the run. And he takes it up and lays it in. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there the way he just went right over him with his height. Here's the captain. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Getting up and then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Here's Conchar. Yet to see a basket. Here's the captain. Grizzlies with the rebound. This game against Los Angeles here, their first look at the Clippers. Last year, this team got the better of them in the season series, so they're looking to correct that. And in last year's playoffs, Memphis falling to the Lakers in six, RJ. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointing season for the Grizzlies. They were the two seed, but injuries to Brandon Clark, injuries to Steven Adams, that just put them in a position that was not there for a postseason run. Juniors checked in for Memphis. Morant comes in for Tillman. Here's the captain. He's got 22. Count it. The captain's got 24 points. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Morant finds Jackson. Tries it from the block. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. A nice shot by the kid. And it's not always Leonard's forte, but he's really developed a solid passing game. Memphis has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Junior outside. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. First personal foul. The first one falls. Boston's checked in for Los Angeles. And Memphis also making a switch. Tillman's checked in for Jackson. And both free throws good for Junior. Los Angeles has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Here's Boston. That three's off the mark. And here are the Grizzlies. They've got the Lakers ahead of them in their next game in Los Angeles. That'll be their second of three games total on this road trip. And he continues to cast away, but the result just haven't been there tonight. Here's Muhammad. Conchar covers. 
Driving to the basket. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Morant with it. Here's Tillman. Good. And the setup by Morant. And this is part of Morant's role. As a guard, he's responsible for finding the open man. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Los Angeles Clippers. Well, it's their style of play, their pace, so they feel comfortable running through their offense until they get a good look. And it's a joy to watch when everything's clicking. And now let's take a moment to look at the upcoming games on the schedule. Check it out, Los Angeles. Well, I know you want to talk about standings and such, but right now, it's the GYGP. I know neither of you knows what that means, so nope. I'll help you means galvanizing your game plan. Wow. Pretty good. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. with a big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And so Moran will bring it up for Memphis. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Taylor Jenkins. Jackson Jr. and Adams guard the paint together. John ja Moran is out there with Jr. And it's Conchar in at the small forward position. No, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's Moran. Top of the key. The Clippers grab the miss. Muhammad's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Carries it down low. Muhammad's got eight. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. From deep, Junior knocks it down from distance. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Pure from three-point range. Give him eight. The response from the claw. Leonard really wanted that three. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. A quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. In the third spot, Los Angeles. They ran a great system last year that put a priority on creating high-quality looks from deep, and it made them the best three-point shooting team in the league. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Leonard against Jackson. Now here's Leonard. He's covered closely. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. For Memphis, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. And Morant gets double teamed on the wing, Conchar. From the left block. Good. And the setup by Morant. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. Here's Boston. Still without a bucket. Here's the kid. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. Morant, the pass to Jackson. The Memphis are down bad. Junior outside. 
The Clippers grab the miss. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. The Clippers are certainly a deep team, and Kawhi Leonard said, we have a lot of talented wings on our team that can play both ways. Rebels shoot the ball, able to guard multiple positions, and I think that's what you need right now in the NBA. Guys that can guard, switch, and knock down open shots. Brian? Yeah, true enough. Allie, thanks. Leonard with a screen on Moran. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, stolen by Junior. And now the Grizzlies on the run. And a nice finish on the layup. Conchar's got his second basket of the game. <laughs> his energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Junior outside. Jackson right side. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle. That That time. That's his first foul of the game. Both teams deciding to change it up. First team foul. Substitution on the court. We've got 128 left in the third quarter. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. The Clippers making a switch here. Coffee's checked in. Clark is checked in for Memphis. Roddy comes in for Conchar. Now here's Highland. Powell outside. Back to Highland. 4-3. Clark grabs the board. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. And here's Junior outside. Gets the three ball to go. Junior's got 10 points in the game. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Now here's Highland. Got a piece of it. Six to shoot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Highland. Preston's checked in for coffee. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Williams comes in for Junior. Memphis has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Here's Moran. And then Moran with the jam. Ooh, wow. Okay, jaw turning hit loose. Someone throw that man some water. Shooting for Memphis. Wow. He's him. And the free throw, no good. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That one falls for Powell. Juniors checked in for Williams. And so Powell nails them both. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. Shots good by Moran. Moran's got seven points here in the quarter. John Moran's body control and ability to take contact and stay focused is so impressive. Wow, that's good. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Junior outside. There's the triple. And again, it's Memphis with a three. <laughs> That's how you up the ant. The team is cooking. The play goes selling again. The play goes Come selling. right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain the triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. That's the That's the Junior way outside. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. Building a mountain of a lead, up 31 points as this quarter concludes. And their defense has stood out. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. They got Bones Highland, Norman Powell out there with Robert Covington. Then there's Marcus Morris, 
And it's Preston in at the two. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Sends it home from three-point land. After a poor offensive first half, some nice adjustments made by the staff, and their shooting percentage is climbing. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Ja, what's the game for defense? Oh, no. Ja, what are you doing? Playing everything. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. Players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, VA, that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. And the Clippers making a change here. Coffee's checked in from deep junior. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Second team. Four, four quarter time. After. Off the inbound pass. Island misses. Memphis has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. And here's Junior outside. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Moran against Highland. Pass to Covington. Powell outside. Clock at six. Outside Highland. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Highland's got four points now in the quarter. That's just smart basketball right there, finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. And here's Junior outside. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks <laughs> out of bounds it'll be memphis's ball Batum's checked in for the clippers for memphis they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter and here's junior outside good and the setup by moran 49 moran's got three assists now in this one the defense is nowhere to be found Guard in the three-point shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Highland. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Now Morant. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots. Coming, looking gas right here. Executing with ease. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And the Clippers miss again. And he's very confident from that range. But you can't make him off. Junior way outside. The Clippers grab the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. And the ball out of play. The Grizzlies will have it. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. Here's the Grizzlies with the ball. They're on a 17-4 run. Count it from distance. Junior's got 31 points. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Time out, time In the out. modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. The Clippers call timeout. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. This almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. 
keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. As always, Allie, we thank you. And it's thank Memphis you. with another. Gets those passes off quickly. Jackson Jr. really sees the floor. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Deep. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. I'm liking the throw. Well, you really can't say enough about what Jaron Jackson Jr. has done since entering the league, RJ. Yeah, B.A. And to even things out for free agents from year to year. The league now has something called cap smooth. Oh, the officials are calling a technical foul here. You don't see this too often, but they tried to call. Technical foul against the Clippers. And a big mental mistake as they called timeout when they had none remaining. And they'll pay for it with maybe the rip. Technical foul against the Clippers. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes. Good! Another from three. He's got this defense scrambling. Even when they've got two guys on him, he finds a way to get to space. And he's making some team history. He just tied the franchise record for three-pointers in a single game. A nice shot by the kid. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well... Free throw good, Junior. Memphis trailing here. Here's Moran. The captain with a rebound. Oh, well, we're going to have a technical foul here. They tried to call timeout, but it already used them all. They just lost track of the situation. A total lack of awareness there. Didn't seem to know they were out of timeouts. You don't expect to see that at this level. Grant, he just completely lost his concentration, I think. Should have been paying better attention at that moment. In tense situations at the line, they can count on him to keep his cool. And here's Junior outside, and again for three. And he's now set the team record for most threes in a single game. What a shot he's got. A lot of it stems from his confidence. Even when he misses, he's sure the next one's going in. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Jackson. From deep, Junior. Oh, he buries it from outside. Oh, <laughs> Great to see. He's deadly. The guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Here's the captain. To stop the run. Yes. And that one is good. Oh. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. 35, to go by one. Oh, 30 seconds left to play in the fourth. So it's... And he 
He misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And it's critical. Morant steps up in the important points in the game. This is his time to shine. Here we go. This might be a turning point. Massive possession here. Here's the captain. Leonard with a screen on Morant. Hey. The captain pass to Leonard. Oh, no! No way. Got on the dunk! Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Yeah! Yes! And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. The captain. Man, that yeah. that's good. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. And so it's the Grizzlies who come out on top here. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. <laughs> Just a fantastic. It was a three! Two K! Two K it was a three! That was a three! That's not a two! That's a flipping three! accomplishment you we lost Fuck. I go use the bathroom see you in the next episode